a level 60 power ground has actually popped on the beta. So that is basically what we're going to be trying out today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get that sniper shot going off right off the bat here. Well, there's actually a two healers I see. Oh, Holy Priest is already dead. <laughs> Holy Priest is already dead. Marksman Hunter is just incredibly strong right now on the beta, and I just figured I'd try that today because I just recently did a Feral Druid video, and those are the two mains that at least that uh, I'm currently thinking about actually uh, maining. So, um, yeah. Uh, legendary, uh, this is the legendary I'm using, which reduces the cooldown of my turtle to 2.1 minutes, and it lowers the cooldown of true shots. And then, um, I'll show you guys the uh, soul binds here in a second. One kill shots. Uh, before I forget the talents as well, I'm using Deadeye with the Covenant um, ability Flayed Shots, which gives a chance to proc um, kill shots for free. Oh, I didn't know it was a Feral Druid here. Yeah, no, you did. All right, got him. That was easy. <laughs> I couldn't one v to a feral in a row. This this is too hard. Feral's counter hunters pretty hard, so gotta be careful with that. But I I definitely think Barksman actually might end up being my main. It's just it's way too fun. I love feral, but I think that'll probably end up being um my main for Shadowlands is Hunter, but we'll see. Pull a flay shot on this guy, rapid fire. Look how much damage. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Kill shot. <laughs> I'm keeping my pet out just in case there's a freaking rogue nearby, man. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of miss, um. Uh. Double tap a little bit. But. Flay shot plus, um. Dead eye is just way too fun. Thought there was a rogue there. I'm probably gonna get ganked. I won't be surprised. We'll back off for now. I know there's two of them heading into mines. Do they have a full group yet? Yeah, they finally have a full group. Oh, that's a little bit of lag there. Kind of hoping to get the Berserker, but I guess the Feral Druid get it. Who's this over here? Styles? Yeah, Styles is about to probably open up on me. Styles, I believe, is. No, Styles is actually the Druid. Then who is that over there? Well, whatever. Should be an easy kill right here. Free, uh, kill shot proc. Aim shot. He's dead. <laughs> Marksman Hunter, man. Drop a binding shot, she can't do anything. Kill shot, dead. Kill the warrior, kill shot. <laughs> this is so fun, man. See if I can get a sniper shot into a flayed shot. Into a rapid fire. Oh, she popped dispersion. Can I reach it? Nope. I kill Sip Hunt here. Interrupt that. Okay, well, whatever. I tried to dodge that trap, unfortunately. Oh. I might die here, I don't know. Yeah, not my best work there, but that's okay. Oh, she's running that Covenant ability, huh? Okay. It's good to know.
She's running the one that uh, when you're standing in it and that lost, they can still hit you. Can't line of sight. I mean, can't sniper shot from there. That's weird, but whatever. All right, mount up. Try again. Oh, she killed my pet. I keep forgetting pets are so easy a joke to kill. Look how long this uh, this res pet is. It's just it's so dumb, so dumb. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you agree or disagree with me or not. But yeah, it's kind of like a joke to be honest. Uh, sniper shots, and then kill shot afterwards. Nope. Some some of the spells take a while, and sometimes they don't work. So that's why if it looks like I use something, and it doesn't work, then that's why it's like bad. It's just a little bit like laggy and stuff. And like, there's so many bugs right now. You guys have no idea. There's just so many bugs. But kill us a lock. Take it back, I'm gonna kill this, um... Kill this healer. Rapid fire. Kill shot, he's dead. 11k aim shot right there. Into an aim shot, she's dead. I really hope a marksman hunter, the way it is right now, makes it to live because it's, it's just so enjoyable. A lot of classes are actually insanely strong. Shadow Priest, Warlock, Rogue is probably like the most overtuned out of everything right now, and definitely need probably the nurse the most for sub rogue. But uh, other than that, everything seems about to be pretty good, at least in my opinion, damage wise. I mean, obviously, there's some really broken stuff, but like, I'm kind of getting like Mr. Pandaria vibes, uh, if that makes a lot of sense to you guys, which is good because Mr. Pandaria was actually good. Uh, but like I said, um, I still think sub rogue needs to be nerfed or at least brought back in line. All right, finish off Feral. If he gets him in a stun, I can maybe finish off here. Maybe not. Ooh, Colvick Spirits. Kill shot. <laughs> Feral Colvick Spirits, man, is no joke. All right, looks like I got a heal. Thank you. Um, incoming moments. Okay. Uh, thank you, man. I guess we could probably go, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go mines. I don't know how many of them are over there. Probably have at least a healer there, if I had to guess. But my plan, I think, for, um, Shadowlands, guys, is probably gonna be two mains, and then the rest I might... People got so mad at me last time about um, leveling alts just in backgrounds and not playing max level. Um, I just think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably gear up my hunter and my druid just like BFA, but the rest of them will just be there mostly when I get bored. Um, so that's my current thoughts. So just ahead of time, guys, I'll probably just level my BGs. And uh, that's pretty much my current thoughts on uh, what I'm going to do for Shadowlands. I think what I'm going to do is just gear up my Feral and my Hunter. And then that's literally it. I'll probably just level the rest of the tunes by Battlegrounds. And if people don't like it, then I'm sorry. But uh, it's, it's physically impossible for me to gear up 12 tunes. It just is. I just want to focus on my two mains, and that's my goal. At least for Shadowlands. Alright, I kind of want to go Lighthouse and see if we can actually maybe do some kills there. Let's we'll see what happens. Well, let's see if we can do it. We can we can try. It's worth a shot. I've been using uh, my pet just for the Master's Call um, ability because some people actually have been questioning me about why I've been doing that. And uh, that's pretty much the main reason why I've been doing that. I was going to go Lighthouse, but I think we'll go Mines instead. Because they're having a huge incoming to mines. Need to fix this map. There we go. Much better. I should definitely go after that feral. I'm going to kill this lock first, to be honest, though. Rep 
fire. Can she still hit me through here? Apparently so. Yeah, I had a feeling she was still gonna get that off. Alright, well, let's shell and, um... It's like whoever gets the opener first pretty much wins. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason why I lived was definitely because of the healer. I would have died there 100%. But to be fair, mirror fights are pretty much whoever gets the opener really usually. <laughs> I definitely think this is my favorite build though. Venthyr plus Deadeye. If you're not running Venthyr, double tap is still the way to go. But for the most part, Deadeye plus uh, Flayed Shot is definitely probably by far my favorite uh, combo. Alright, let's go ahead and go over there. Oh, there's a freaking feral here, dude. I don't know where he is, though. Oh, he bladestormed my, um, binding shot. He's dead. There's still a feral here somewhere. The only problem with this build, though, is you actually do get focus start pretty easily just as a quick disclaimer but like I said it's damage is pretty dang ridiculous for the most part I got 16 kills it's just it's such a good build man Marksman Hunter I think is definitely gonna be my favorite for BGs Alright, um, also before I forget my soul binds, by the way, it always lags when I do that. I picked uh, Reduce the Cooldown Turtle, Increase the Speed of Cheetah, and then um, Exhilaration now heals me for, I think, a little bit more. I've got a freaking Feral on me. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, exhilaration now heals you for an additional 10%, over 8 seconds. And last but not least, Flay Shot now has an additional 5% chance to proc, and it increases the damage of your next kill shot, which is super good. And, and this pretty much all of those affects all specs, so if you play Beast Mastery, Survival, Marksman, it helps all. I have a Druid, dude. I know Flay Shot, uh, Binding Shot's not really going to help much, but let's give it a shot anyways. Oh, it can still hit me. Well, that's cool. This feral just really wants to kill me, doesn't he? I'm not letting her get away. Feral druid healing is actually pretty good right now. To be fair, uh, to be fair, actually druids do counter hunter hunters pretty hard, so he should technically win the fight. I just got hunters marked. Gee, I wonder who's going to be a hit from stealth randomly. Probably me. By the way, guys, um, now that I forgot to tell you guys, since level 60 backgrounds new do pop, I will try to do more of these. Um, the queues are just as bad as PTR, so some days they might even I might not even get a queue pop for... Uh, Six, uh, six days like I did for the other video. So I don't know, but if I'll try my best to actually get more videos of it on in the future. But um, I can't make any promises, but I'll try. But uh, that's, that's going to be my goal is to try to keep doing level 60 BGs. And I think it's less alliance queuing pretty much on the beta right now because it took a while for um, the alliance to join this one. Oh my gosh, this feral is just so annoying. Wow. Uh, I should not be surprised. Always expect a feral to jump me out of nowhere. And of course, he gets me last second. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I will try to do more in the future. 19 kills, 1 death. And um, 
I'll see you guys later.